Welcome Virgo and thank you for being here today. This is your monthly message, love message for December 2020. I've already pulled your crowning message card and your crowning wisdom message card. Let's have a look at it Virgo. Okay, for your crowning message, you have Spirit of Gratitude. And for your crowning wisdom message, you have Cause Effect. You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. Virgo, I feel as though for the month of December, you are most definitely being called, encouraged to give thanks for everything um, that you have achieved thus far, um, every trial and tribulation that has brought a learning, that has brought growth, that has evolved you on your spiritual journey, your life journey, your journey with relationships, your journey with yourself. And I feel that your wisdom message cause and effect is recognising that what you think and what you put out there, um, it's part of that co-creation. It's part of setting intentions. And I feel that you are fully aware that what you create in your mind is an agent for change and is the foundation of the results that you have probably I almost feel seen for the for the for the year of 2020 I feel as though I feel as though Virgo you've come a long way and I feel that spirit divine universe your spirit team is coming in and encouraging you to just stop for a moment and give thanks and one of the ways that we can do that, um, one of the traditional ways is obviously through prayer or meditation or even just taking those long walks in nature or, you know, sitting, you know, on the rocks by the water. Something that allows you to connect with your higher self. And even if it's a conversation that you have in your mind, just reflecting on everything that you have achieved, every blessing that is in your life, I feel that you are strongly being guided to give thanks for that. Stop for a moment and just recognise the beauty of who you are and every blessing and every positive thing that's in your life. Recognising that cause and effect. And I feel as though you may have really learnt that You've probably gone through some real trials and tribulations, lessons, you know, evolution. And I feel it's a time for the month of December um, to give thanks. And you know what's just popped into my mind? Virgo, if you are new in a relationship after perhaps going through quite a hard time with relationships, you may be... Maybe you changed your mindset somewhere along the line for um, maybe the end of November going into December. And as a result, maybe somebody has come into your life that you are really, truly thankful for and grateful. And I feel that you're being guided to just stop for a moment and give thanks for that because it's something that has definitely blossomed. Okay. Virgos, if this message is resonating with you, please give that thumbs up on the video and I welcome your subscription to Spirit and Truth. Let us get straight into your love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does these soulmates of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Feel towards them in love for the month of December 2020. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Virgo? 
that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all. As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. Okay. All right. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me how does these soulmates of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, Feel towards them in love for the month of December 2020. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally? And thank you. Okay, we have the Six of Cups, the Eight of Cups. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, thank you. We have the Ten of Coins. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does these soulmates of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? For the month, thank you. Okay, so we have judgment. Oh, we have the sun, beautiful. And for the first line, wow, we have the wheel of fortune and the three of swords. I'm actually going to put these down here. Um, Virgo, no, I'm being told to keep it separate. Okay, so these are bonus cards, Virgo, for the first line, for this first line. Let us get some more clarity. My angels, thank you. We have the Knight of Wands. Please, can you give me more clarity, more insight, more in-depth knowledge to the question? How does these soulmates of Virgo Sun thank oh okay we have the ten of swords we have the three of coins we have temperance we have the king of swords and we have a bonus of the page of swords I'm just going to put that down the bottom and I will move it up well actually Let's put it here. So let's shift this along. All right, so you've got three bonus cards that have come out. All right, thank you. All right, Virgos, I feel as though the person that you are connecting with Actually, I feel as though your energy is coming up on this side. I feel as though, Virgo, the person that you're connecting with, I feel as though... No, this is, this is, this is the other person. Okay, this person sees you as somebody that they have lived past lives with. Um, and I feel as though you most definitely have with that sun card here and with that wheel of fortune. And I feel as though they are quite nostalgic um, over this soul connection with you. This is a very, very deep soul connection. I feel as though their energy is coming in with the, with the Knight of Wands. They may be a little bit inconsistent a little bit back and forth, but they have a lot of passion for you. And I feel as though they want to take firm action to come towards you. But there's something that they're saying goodbye to that's not serving them. And I feel it's mental torture over building a future with you and wanting to put the work in. They may be guided at this time to give some thanks and praise 
because whatever mental torture they were going through with this connection, it, 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 it resulted in them being very inconsistent. But I feel as though that they're walking away from that because it just did not serve them. And it's around wanting to build a future with you. Wanting to put the work in. I feel as though, Virgo, something has happened in this connection. This is most definitely somebody that you are that you are aware of, that you may not be in union with, but you may be in that early stages um, of kind of getting to know each other. But something happened because they're in some mental torment here with the Ten of Swords. They may have put in the work to build a future with you or given you those gestures to do that. But I feel as though whatever happened that put them in this kind of mental torture, you're aware of it because your energy is coming in as judgment. You, I feel that you want to reconcile with this person. So it, it feels as though, first of all, this is a very deep soul connection. With the Wheel of Fortune, this is a fated connection. And I feel that there is something they're not telling you or you're not telling them. And both of you may be watching each other. But let's just continue. I feel as though you know what occurred in this connection that's kind of had them all up in their mind and I feel that you do want to reconcile with this person but you're being patient to put the work in and as you do as you apply patience I feel as though you know what you may be wishing praying imagining dreaming of coming back into union or getting back on that even keel with somebody, recognising the cause and effect of what you are thinking, what you are putting out there. So if you want this person back, I feel as though something has happened that, that created this mental torture. They may be moving away from this mental torture, but they may also be moving away from you because it's not serving them anymore. And I feel as though you know this, but I feel that your prayers, affirmations, manifestation of reconciling with this person because you understand cause and effect of manifestation, of setting clear intentions and you're being patient for divine spirit universe to answer your affirmations, your intentions. And I feel as though it's going to be extremely victorious with that son. It's almost as if this union um, is absolutely fated because that wheel of fortune was the next card as a bonus. And then the next card was the seven of swords. You may not be telling this person, um, Virgo, you may not be telling this person that you do want to reconcile with them. But I feel that you're watching them. Their energy, I feel, is coming in as the Knight of Wands. Um, male or female, it doesn't matter. I feel that they've just been really inconsistent over, well, with the amount of swords here. We've got the Ten of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Page of Swords, the King of Swords. This person may not have been a great communicator. Or you may not have been a great communicator. And I feel it left them quite inconsistent but you know what both I feel as though both of you want to build a future with each other both of you want to put in the work you definitely want to reconcile and you're applying patience here and I feel that that patience is going to pay off by the end of um, December and this king of swords um, Virgo I feel that this is your energy you may be somebody that's quite blunt quite cutting um, and you may have said something that put this person in a bit of mental torture. And I feel at this time you are protecting your heart. And I feel that you're watching, watching very, very closely. 
In terms of major arcana that's coming in and the signs to look for with the um, with the temperance, um, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or have Sagittarius in your chart. Um, what else have we got? We have got, um, I was going to say that, but that's justice is, is Libra, but that's not there because that's judgment. So the only major arcana that's coming through is the temperance card. So Sagittarius, um, you could be dealing with, I mean, all, all of the signs are popping up here. We've got the swords, loads of swords. So you could be dealing with Libra, Aquarius or Geminis, or you could have that in your chart. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of swords here. We've also got a quite a, well, the center for coins. So we have got either Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn, either you or them. We've got um, wands. Well, only one set of wands could be any of the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then cups. We've got quite a bit of cups here. Um, yeah, two cups here. So any of the water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But the major arcana that's coming through is the temperance. Um, and that is the major arcana for Sagittarius. So either yourself or the person you're dealing with may have strong Sagittarius in their chart. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Let's clarify my angels and spirit guides of the divine. Thank you. Okay, I feel as though this person feels quite victorious in this connection with the six of wands. Um, I feel as though they do see that this connection with you is victorious. You are the person that um, they believe is the one for them. And I feel that that resonates with that wheel of fortune that this connection is um, fated. I feel as though this person, as they are um, in this mental torture walking away possibly from you possibly from the connection but most definitely walking away from this mental torture has gone through a period I feel for the beginning of December going through a period I should say of going within um going within and wanting to make wise decisions. You could be dealing with another Virgo. Um, the Hermit card is the major arcana for Virgo, um, but it also could be uh, your energy coming in here, Virgo, recognising that this person, for whatever reason, is in some sort of mental torture, possibly because there was something that you said with that King of Swords energy that has Put them in a position where they they want to walk away from this. But whoever's going in and seeking guidance, I feel that it's going to be victorious. My angels and spirit guides, please, can you clarify the answer to the question? How does the soul... Thank you. Wow. Okay. So we have the Page of Wands. Look, we've got the Eight of Cups. Somebody's most definitely uh, walking away from something that doesn't does not serve them. Um, and this is on their side, um, Virgo. I feel as though they want to come in with messages of a passionate nature, maybe light-hearted conversation. And I, th I feel as though it is to move away from this mental torture. And I feel that they they want to come in quite passionately, taking the action possibly towards you. Um, but it also could mean taking a... They could be guided to take the action to walk away from this connection with you after going within and seeking guidance. Thank you. I feel as though this person, um, Virgo, uh, most definitely sees you as their nine of cups. Somebody that is, they see you as abundant, um, fruitful, overflowing, happiness, uh, their wish fulfillment. But you may also see them as that as well. 
You may also be seeing that they're walking away from something, walking away from this connection with you. Thank you. And yeah, I feel as though, Virgo, either you or the person that you're connecting with is at a crossroads, doesn't know quite what to do. This person may have actually put a lot of work into this connection, trying to build a future, trying to build a foundation um, to let you know through messages of passion that they do want to uh, build a future with you. And they may have been putting the working. You may not have reciprocated, which is why I feel that they're being guided to either walk away from this connection or if it was putting them in some sort of mental torment to walk away from that mental torment. And I feel as though they are at a crossroads. They may have strong Libra in their chart, um, Virgo, uh, with the Libra symbol here. But I feel as though, or you may have um, strong uh, Libra in your chart, um, but it's as though it's as though you may have seen this person as overflowing. You also wanted to build a future and put the work in. But it's as though something was said, something that kind of derailed this connection for a hot minute. Um, and it may be somebody didn't say how they were feeling. It's as though you both are on the same page of building a future with, you, with each other, putting in the work, but something happened to create this mental torture with them, which triggered for you to want to reconcile with them. And I feel as though, because the Two of Swords is more on your side, you may be the person that is at a crossroads because you see this person as your happiness. But they may not know it because of that Seven of um, uh, Swords. And then we have temperance. We've got temperance covering the temperance and judgment. You know, with the temperance and the judgment card coming in this line here, I really do feel as though, Virgo, you are quite a spiritual person. You know full well the cause and effect of thoughts, manifestations, setting clear intentions. And I feel as though you're really, really applying patience um, to understand the best course of action to balance out this connection and to reconcile with the person that you are thinking about. Thank you. Yep, yeah, because I feel as though you want to put in the work with that three of coins. Virgo, you also may be um, focusing a lot on your work right now, trying to build your pentacles. And I feel as though you're being patient. You may be focused <clears throat> on building your pentacles, being patient, <coughs> excuse me, be, being patient to build those pentacles before you come in with letting this person that you want, letting this person know that you want to reconcile. But there's something that's not being told. And I feel as though, uh, Virgo, it may be you that's not expressing that, you know, you want to get your finances um, in order first, or you may be not telling them that you do want to put the work in because you do want to build a future with them. Yeah. And we've got the Queen of Cups. I feel as though, Virgo, this Queen of Cups energy is this person over on this side. I feel as though you know that this person is, um, yeah, they are your wish fulfillment. There's a lot of happiness there. And I feel that you know that this person has got unconditional love for you. This person has got unconditional love for this person here. And I feel that it is victorious and it most definitely is, is fated. Please, can you clarify further? Ooh. Wow, okay. So we've got the Wheel of Fortune coming in again. This is most definitely a fated connection, um, Virgo, with this, this person that is the Queen of uh, Cups. Wow, 
yet you see them as that empress, male or female, it doesn't matter. And there is some sort of burden. Something happened, Virgo. Something happened and I feel as though this is burdensome for you. Hence why you want to reconcile. Hence why this person was in this mental torture. It could have been something that you said that was quite sharp, quite cutting, but you're not telling them. It could be to do with how you feel about them. Because I feel that you both want to build a future. You both want to put in the work. You both may be working on your finances. This person sees you as their wish fulfillment. You see them as um, your wish fulfillment. You both may be at a crossroads, not knowing how to balance this connection out. But I feel this Empress and this Queen of Cups is the same energy of the person that's on this side. And this is how you see them. You see them as your wish fulfillment. You, you may even know Virgo, that this is a fated connection. I feel as though this person is extremely um, grounded, spiritual. You may want to build a family with this person, male or female, as I say, it doesn't matter. Um, but I feel as though you see them as, as nurturing, spiritual. And you know what? It may be somebody that you've been manifesting and they've come into your life. You know who they are, but something happened. Let's have a look at your outcome. Thank you. So your outcome, yeah, we've got that 10, we've got that 10 of wands. This person is obviously really, really burdened over whatever happened, hence this uh, mental torture that they're in. Um, with the nine of wands, I feel as though they're really, really trying to put whatever is burdensome in this connection, whatever made them feel that they need to walk away from mental torture, possibly walking away from you. I feel as though they're going to uh, put that behind them and surrender to this connection. And with the uh, six of coins, they too want to balance this out. Look, you've got the six of coins and the two of swords and the Libra symbol here of balance. They do want to balance this out with you. And I feel so do you. One more card for the outcome, please. How does the soulmates of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love for the month of December? 2020 one more card thank you we've got two more cards okay so we've got the page of cups and the queen of cups i feel as though uh virgo you want to come in with messages of emotion to this queen of cups who's come out here as well so for me this is just affirmation um, that the person that you are thinking about, male or female, has most definitely got that cup, um, queen of cup energies. But if you look, her back is towards these messages of emotion that's coming in. I'm just going to lay this. You've got an extra bonus. You guys have got a lot of bonus cards that are coming out. So I feel as though you want to balance out this connection, um, Virgo, bringing in messages of emotion to this Queen of Cups energy. Please, can you clarify the outcome cards? How does the soulmates of the... Thank you. Ah, look at this. We have the Seven of Swords. I feel as though... Uh, Virgo, this person is not telling you that whatever occurred in this connection that put them in this kind of mental torture, I feel as though they're not telling you. But you know what? They're going to be successful putting down this burden, moving away from mental torture, because I feel as though you've got the sun that's come out twice. 
twice on their side and your side. And I've just looked at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Cups. I feel as that you both see each other um, as home to each other, most definitely. They've got the sun on their side and you've got the sun on your side. It's as though, do you know, it feels as though, Virgo, you both may have been wishing, praying, imagining, dreaming a connection like this. And do you know what? Divine universe spirit brought you both into each other's path because that is what you both were wishing, praying, dreaming, imagining, manifesting, setting those intentions because it was fated. You answer for this. And I feel that you are that this is something that is most definitely on a deep soul level with the seven of let me just double check it. Yeah, the six of cups there. It's as though you both know that you've lived past lives together. It's most definitely a fated connection. And they know it. And that's why they are trying to put this burden down of whatever put them in this mental torture. Putting behind what does not serve them and surrendering to the connection with you. And that's why I feel both of you, because... Because the, the universe, divine spirit, brought you both into each other's lives because I feel as though you both were praying, wishing for each other. You may not have known each other at the time, but I feel as though your prayers were answered. And that is why I feel both of you know the power of cause and effect. You know the power of universal law of attracting the law of attraction you literally both were praying for each other you both came into each other's lives but something something rattled something derailed this and it really created a burden for them but it also created a burden for you as well it's as though you're kind of mirroring each other so it may be possibly, this may be a twin flame connection. And then look, yeah, their happiness is with you. I feel as though your energy is that king of cups. They're scared. They're scared of, um, they're scared of this connection with you. You may be scared of how strong this connection is with this person. But I feel that your energy is the King of Cups. And with the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups coming out twice, I feel as though you, this person sees you as um, their divine counterpart. Somebody that has unconditional love for them, but also somebody that is um, quite blunt, quite cutting. And I feel as though they're afraid of this connection, of how deep it is. With the page of coins, I feel as though, Virgo, that you want to come in and have a serious conversation to balance out um, this connection. You may be a little bit afraid as well. You may not be a great communicator. Yes, you are blunt, um, you speak your truth, but maybe you how it comes out is not so grand. And look, we've got the justice card. And you know what, I'm all, in this particular deck, I'm always drawn to that yin yan symbol in the, um, in the middle there. It's as though you both balance each other out. And I feel that you want to balance this out. With that justice card, you could most definitely be de dealing with a Libra or you may have Libra in your chart. But with the amount of Libra, it wouldn't surprise me if you both got Libra in your chart. And Libra, the balance, balancing all seems to be coming around um, in the same kind of area of this reading. And it's quite prevalent. So I, I would, as a reader, I would most definitely say one of you or probably both of you um, have uh, Libra in your chart. 
with the justice and the wheel of fortune, the judgment and temperance, um, it would not surprise me if you were married in past lives. Hence why the connection is so strong. And then we have the Ace of Wands. I feel as though you have got a lot of passion for this person. And I feel that you see victory with this person. And you do want to take strong action to come in with messages of emotion. But I feel as though, uh, Virgo, you may be a little bit wishy-washy, a little bit inconsistent. But their energy came up here as the Knight of Wands as well. So this could be you you wanting to take strong action to the person that has that Knight of Wands energy because they came out here first. So even though you may recognise this person may not be consistent, you do see them um, as extremely passionate, um, quite firm, quite um, action orientated. They may have in the past come in with a lot of messages of emotion, but I feel as though you want to take strong action towards this Knight of Wands energy um, around messages of emotion. But it might be a bit burdensome for you to do so. Let's get some more information. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you give me more information, more clarity to the outcome to the question, how does the soulmates of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? Thank you. Yep, I feel as though this person, uh, Virgo, that you're connecting with most definitely sees you as their wish fulfillment with that Ten of Cups. And that's why I feel that they're going to try and put down this burden, which they're going to be successful with the sun that came out. You are the wish fulfillment. You're the happiness. Maybe that was a burden. That, and I, I did say that earlier, that the depth of this connection um, may have been burdensome for them. Thank you. And then look, this person is surrendering to this connection, wanting to build um, a place of creativity, inspiration, passion, you know, something that is very grounded and very, very action orientated, very creative. But I feel as though this is the environment that they want to, to build with you because you are their wish fulfillment. But yeah, they are majorly conflicted. You may be majorly conflicted with balancing out, giving to this connection. And it may be because they're a little bit inconsistent as well, Virgo. One more card, please, to clap, thank you. Yep, and I feel the king of coins is your energy, Virgo. I feel as though you want to, you're gonna come in slow and steady with these messages of passion. And it's because you see this person as your home. And we saw that with the 10 of cups at the bottom of the deck, um, that as I was talking, my eye caught it and I, I was inclined to show it. Um, it's as though you have the key to their heart and they have the key to um, yours. But I feel that you are at a crossroads as to the correct action to take. And that's probably what's burdensome for you. But I feel that you're going to come in slow and steady with something really, really solid around messages of emotion. Thank you. This person is most definitely um, thinking about you, I feel, uh, Virgo, on a daily basis. Thinking about the happiness that you bring them. And I feel that they, they're going to want to communicate. They may have strong Sagittarius or you may have Sagittarius with a Sagittarius symbol there. But this is back and forth communication. You may also be um, 
You may have to fly to each other, different locations perhaps, but I feel as though that they are thinking about you on a daily basis and they hold you very, very close to their heart because they see you as their wish fulfillment. Um, they do recognize that you have lived past lives together. They are holding onto you, I feel almost like for dear life, maybe a bit secretive because they do see this palace of wands, this building this future with you because you are their wish fulfillment. And then we have the death card. So you could be um, dealing with a Scorpio or you may have Scorpio in your chart. And this is covering um, your side, um, Virgo. So I feel as though you recognise something needs to be balanced out, but you are internally conflicted. And I feel as though you are going for a bit of a transformation, recognising this person is your wish fulfilment. Um, and whatever is conflicting you, I feel as though it's it's triggered something in you that you will that you're transforming from. It's some it's some sort of learning that you needed to go through, some sort of rebirth. Um, and you may have to almost what whatever is uh, triggering this internal conflict it may be something that you need to address and and figure out in order for you to transform out of this internal conflict you may be somebody virgo that um in past relationships you know maybe you didn't you were somebody that didn't give quite a lot you know you just allowed the other person to give and give and give and give and i'm not saying that you're somebody that you you know you, you give at you take but you don't give it's just that you may have been focused on other stuff you could be quite an ambitious um career driven person um you know you would rather spend your time focusing on your pentacles you know and that may have been a problem for you in the past and i feel with this person because you see them as your wish fulfillment i feel as though um the internal conflict that you may be going through is going to be transformational for you. And you're going to want to fight for this connection with that five of swords. It's as though this whole connection, um, Virgo, has just feels like a journey of some lessons around communication, around giving equally into a relationship recognizing the cause and effect of what you think and what you put out there but you know what for the month of december i feel as though virgo you're going to be in a position where i feel that this is going to turn around because it it's got the wheel of fortune here this was meant to happen in the way that it is happening and i feel that both of you are going to blossom from whatever is going on here and it's at that point, I feel as though you're being guided to really give some thanks and praise for this person in your life. And equally, them also giving thanks and praise for you in their life. And you know what is triggering this transformation? I feel as though, uh, Virgo, you may be feeling a little bit left out in the cold, wanting to give this to this connection. But you know what? You may be focusing on the fact that you've been left out in the cold. We saw that um, that seven, um, that eight of coin, um, eight of cups, sorry, in, in your person's um, side here that came out twice. And I couldn't determine whether or not they're walking away from you or were walking away from mental um, torment. I feel as though it's both. You know, you may not have been given to this connection. They couldn't take it anymore. And they decided that they're going to walk away from the mental torment that um, it was that, that it was putting them through. It was creating too much of a burden and they want to put it down. Um, they want to focus on the positive of, of, of you in their life, the positivity of this connection. And I feel as though... As a result, they may have pulled back their energy for a hot minute 
just to put down this burden, but as a result, you felt left out in the cold. Now you want to give to this connection. And I feel as though, look, this is almost like resonant of the sun coming in. That Look at these flowers blossoming. It almost mirrors the spirit of gratitude. This feels as though it is being truly divinely guided. And I feel that you feeling left out in the cold is what's triggering this transformation within you. Hence why you're going to be coming in slow and steady with these messages of passion. Thank you. Yep, you're heartbroken. You're heartbroken that this person has uh, moved away from you. Disappointed. This person um, may have um, Aries in their chart with the Emperor cards coming out here very strongly. So we have seen uh, Aries, Libra, Sagittarius, Virgo, Scorpio. Any of those signs that resonate for you, Virgo, um, could be either in your chart or their chart doesn't necessarily have to be but Virgo was really really strong I mean there were so many cards um, that represented Virgo so uh, I would say that that is a pretty much a given to be honest with you but I feel that you are disappointed with this person who has that emperor um, energy because you feel left out in the cold this person may have a bit of an ego as well they may be quite a leader um, in their own right, wanting to take the lead. They may be quite controlling, but you're disappointed. You're, I feel that you're disappointed in them. Please, can you give me some more information for the final outcome cards to the question? How does the soulmate of Virgo son? Thank you. Yeah, this person most definitely is in that hangman, reflecting on this situation, reflecting on you, them seeing you as their happy ever after, wanting to put down the burden of the torment over something that was said, and they just want to focus on the positive the positive aspect of this relationship but they are reflecting and I feel as though they're trying to release look at those coins being released the burden wanting to get back to this happy happy ever after and we've got the seven of cups I feel as though there there, there was there was mis, miscommunication of some sort misunderstanding maybe they thought you had other choices maybe you thought they had other choices but this is on their side so I feel as though, Virgo, um, there was something that was misunderstood on their side. Maybe choices that they made. But I feel that they're going to put that behind them and surrender to this connection. Surrender to this Building this future, this happiness, putting down the burden, surrendering it, reflecting over the miscommunication. And then look, your energy here, the palace of swords, it almost feels as though whatever is this internal conflict for you, Virgo, right now I almost feel towards kind of like, the middle of December, going into the end of December, you may retreat yourself. Um, and you know what? It, you may be retreating for clarity. You may have um, signs, synchronicities, but it's. I feel that you're going to be seeking clarity over misunderstandings and whatever's causing this internal conflict. Thank you. Yeah. And the clarity is, is that I feel that you recognise that the seeds of this connection was most definitely planted. But you know what? Look, that that basket is empty and this person is almost looking towards us kind of like question, what do I do? Do I pick these pentacles? Do I chop down that tree and start all over again? Do I... 
And I feel that that's your energy, hence why you're coming in slow and steady. I feel that you don't know what to do, to be honest with you, because there's a lot of disappointment of being left out in the cold. It's almost as if you may be going within to reflect, to seek some clarity over what happened because the seeds were planted in this connection. Ah, uh, yeah, look, yeah, you're thinking. I think you're, I feel as though you're thinking about this person, you're thinking about this situation, seeking, maybe withdrawing to get some clarity with that palace of swords. But I feel that you're thinking about this person on a daily basis, for sure. It's almost as though, I feel as though, you know, look, it's right on top of the two of wands. You see this person and they may have strong Aries in their chart. You see them as your matching counterpart for sure. And I feel that you're thinking about them on a daily basis, almost wondering what the heck happened here. Why am I feeling out in the cold? I'm really disappointed in this person that they've put me out in the cold and pulled back their energy. And even though you want to balance out the scales, you may be really, really conflicted because you're kind of like, well, what do I do? This person's pulled back their energy. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I feel as though, Virgo, your message here is letting you know there's something that was said and I feel it was something that you said with that uh, King of Swords energy that really upset them um, or uh, put them in a position of mental torture um, and it was really burdensome for them. And it's almost it almost feels as if they needed to pull back to seek clarity, to reflect on this connection. But with that sun card that came up below these cards and the um, ten of cups, they see you as their um, their happiness. So if anything, I, I I feel as though whatever disappointment you you feel and that you're upset with them about and you don't quite know what to do, I almost kind of feel focus on raising your vibration, focus on positive thoughts. Because I feel that this person will come back your way um, and they because they will surrender to this connection simply because a it is the wheel of fortune. It is fated. You've got the um, the what was it? The six of cups um, and the star. So this is somebody that you've lived past lives with it. You know, they couldn't keep away from you, even if they tried and vice versa. You couldn't keep away from them, even if you tried. So even though you're thinking about them, you know, on a daily basis, I feel as though you're, you're thinking about, gosh, what happened here? All the pentacles, all the seeds were planted but yet your basket is empty and it's as though you're going to be taking some time to reflect on that. Seeking some clarity as to why that is. But be aware that you are disappointed. You are feeling left out in the cold. And I would just say, be mindful of that. Um, be mindful of that thinking and try and turn a negative into a positive Take some time out, breathe for a moment, reflect on maybe whatever was said that could have put this person in this mental torture that was burdensome for them. Um, they're not telling you that that seven of swords came out twice. They're not telling you what it is. You may not be telling them what it is if they said something that upset you. So I feel as though you perhaps need to just stop for a moment and really think about it. Go into a place um, that will allow you to have clarity. You know, spirit of gratitude, go into prayer, meditation, however you connect with your higher self and you will find the clarity. But I feel that you already know that what you create in your thoughts is the agent of change and will be the foundation of a positive result. So even though you are feeling disappointed and, um, you know, left out in the cold, switch it up, sw switch it up, um, Virgo, so that this person can come back to you 
um, in, in a positive manner, at a high vibration. Let's uh, clarify. Thank you. Yeah. This person, I feel they are reflecting the mental torture that they're in. And I feel that they do want to communicate, watching carefully, um, wanting to come in, I feel, and speak their truth. Um, this is the spy card. They've got it on their side and you've got it on your side as well. It's as though you're both watching this connection. It's, it's like, um, you know, somebody's just paused this whole situation for a hot minute so that both of you could actually kind of take time out and really reflect. Because ultimately, whatever is going on, you see these centre cards of that ten of coins and that three of coins. You both want the same thing. You both want to build a future with each other. You both want to um, put the work in. And look, whatever was um, misunderstood, miscommunication, there's going to be victory in it. And I feel as though this person... Um, is strong and balanced um and whatever they are watching and observing i feel it, it's going to sort itself out so if you are in separation or you know you you've just one of you or both of you have pulled back your energy from this connection do you know what allow that breathing space to happen because i feel it's going to be really successful it's almost as if divine spirit universe is coming in and it's almost kind of smoothing the waters for both of you and it will be victorious it, it will be grounded and, and solid please can you clarify the final outcome cards please how thank you Yep, we've got the inter. They're just as they're just as conflicted as you are. You're conflicted over um, trying to balance out this relationship. They're conflicted over misunderstandings, but they're going to come out um, victorious. Possibly coming in with a solid offer, speaking their truth, trying to put behind them this mental torture. And look, there you are, that King of Swords energy. Um, Virgo, yeah, you most definitely are going to go take some time out to seek clarity. But you know what? They're internally conflicted over you. And there's our Seven of Cups. There's been some sort of misunderstanding between the both of you. And I feel that they feel it with you. You feel it with them. Thank you. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Somebody spoke their truth. Somebody spoke their truth. And I said it right from the beginning. And because it's on this side, um, Virgo, I feel it was you. And it's right by that King of Swords. You said something that was quite cutting to somebody that you consider your twin flame. Your ultimate soulmate. And you know what? It's kind of left you a little bit spinning as to what the heck is going, what's going on. So I feel that Spirit Divine is letting you know it's something that you said. Look, there's your, en excuse me, there's your energy there. There's your energy there. And there's the miscommunication, misunderstanding, right smack, smack, bam, in the middle. And it was with your twin flame. Your deep soul connection, which is how you see this person. And, and to be honest with you, rightly so, with that star and the um, Six of Cups, you guys have lived past lives together. You know each other on a soul level. There's no doubt about it. And I feel that your overall message is Virgo. Um, you just need to keep the faith um, and recognise the cause and effect. You, above anybody, know how to set intentions, how to manifest how to raise your vibration. So yeah, you may be feeling disappointed, a little bit hurt, a little bit confused, what the heck is going on? Just know it's something that you said. They're not telling you, they're not telling you what it is that you said. So, you know, you may have to just sit down for a hot minute in that palace of swords and think about the communication that you said, seeking that clarity over something that you said that created some sort of misunderstanding. And um, as you do so, I feel as though as you switch this up and turn a negative into a positive, 
um, and give thanks for this person in your life. I feel that Divine Spirit Universe is going to come in and help you um, get that clarity that you need um, for you to take your time uh, and, you know, approach this slowly, gently, softly, but also by raising your vibration and keeping positive about this connection, giving thanks for this person in your life. I feel as though they're going to come in quite slowly, wanting to put down this burden, surrendering to this connection because you are their wish fulfillment with that Ten of Cups. And they are going through a phase of reflecting, trying to let go this burden, I feel. And I feel they will be victorious. And don't forget the sun that came out on their side and the sun that came out for your side. This 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 union will come back in, in into um, fruition. Um, but I feel... Virgo, that you've got a really important part to play to perhaps let go ego. Remember that emperor card there, which is the major arcana for Aries. That could be in their chart or your chart, but you may also have a bit of ego going on. Let that go um, and just be really, really conscious of that law of attraction, um, universal law, the cause and effect of what you think and what you put out there. OK, very quickly, let's have a look at your advice. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you provide me with advice for the collective of Virgo, sun, moon, rising and Venus in love for the month of December 2020? That, thank you. Career. It's time to add extra energy to your career area. Maybe try something new. Um, Virgo, have you started a new business? Have you started a new venture? Did that get in the way of this connection? Is it something that you need to give some thanks and praise for? Um, has this career or project um, gone in a direction that kind of diverted your attention for a hot minute around this person? Did something not go too well when you snapped at this person? Um, not intentionally. Um, but maybe you are being guided to focus your energy um, into your career in a positive manner, giving thanks and praise for the opportunity of a promotion, of launching a business. Um, and, you know, even though you're going through the trials and tribulations of it, um, give thanks for that as well. My angels and spirit guides, what other advice have you got for the collective of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in love for the month of December that we're allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? Thank you. Thank you. Energy. Try and keep your... Try to keep your energy positive by surrounding yourself with positive people. Absolutely. Remember that cause and effect that we were talking about? It's really important, I feel, Virgo, for you to keep your um, energy levels up um, at, at that high vibration. And at this time, if it means that you've got to surround yourself with positive people, people that um you know may not know the ins and outs of what's going on with your relationship or the person you're connecting with but actually you know it may be somebody at work um some somebody you know maybe a business partner or something you know focus your energy around um you know them and and work and whatever makes your juices flow whatever warms your heart um because as you do so, it's going to raise your vibration to allow this person to slowly come back in. That's if you want them to. And then nature, reconnect with nature. Feel the sun on your skin. Walk barefoot on the grass. What were we saying? Spirit of gratitude. I feel as though you are most definitely being drawn to give thanks. However you connect with your higher self, whether it's through prayer, whether it's through meditation, whether it's walking in nature, connecting with Mother Earth, whatever you do, I feel that you're being guided right now. The advice is really, really clear from your crowning message and your advice. This is the time for you to keep your calm and to connect with your higher self, divine spirit, universe, however you connect with your higher self. 
um, and that could be through nature because I feel that that is what's going to help you in this palace of swords to give you the clarity remember i said earlier that as you connect with yourself try and keep yourself grounded and calm you may have to let go a little bit of ego because you feel a little bit left out in the cold um you are disappointed with this person but let that go stay grounded with yourself keep your um your vibration up and positive focus on your work uh focus around Keep your focus with people who are of a positive nature. And as you do so, I feel that you're going to raise the vibration of this, this derailment um, of this connection. Um, and I feel that this person will come in. Okay, Virgo, fascinating um, message. I'm going to leave that there. If this message resonated with you, again, please don't forget to click that thumbs up on the button um, on the video so that it can go out to other Virgos. If you wish to subscribe, I most definitely welcome you to Spirit and Truth. Also, check out the description box, box um, below. Um, I've got some in information there um, about how you can follow me on Instagram if you would like to. On that note, um, check out your moon rising and Venus signs, um, Virgo, and that may help give you some more information. Um, and until next week, um, I'm just sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Take care. Bye bye.